There's a trap. What is up guys, Ab27HD here, welcome to a new series that I am entitling Money No Object Career Challenge. The aim of this is to get through two seasons on world class on career mode without losing a game, so undefeated in two seasons and ideally without dropping a point, so winning every game. With that in mind, we will be using the financial takeover and we will be using the team I think yields the best results, Real Madrid. So what we are going to do is try and build the greatest team that we can with the best players from around the world for using the financial takeover not necessarily worrying about player growth and things like that although some of the players I'm picking will be decent when it comes to growth we've gone with Real Madrid because obviously they have a 90 plus uh, million pound transfer budget but in addition to that they also have expensive players that we could sell to make some profit and obviously use them to build what is essentially the greatest team that we can given them money we've got so in this first episode we're going to be looking at the shortlist these are the kind of players we're looking at Manuel Neuer, De Gea, we're looking at uh, Philip Lahm, we're looking at Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Gerard Piquet, Iron Robin, Lucas from PSG. Ultimate aim is to win the domestic cup, the league cup obviously in the first season, qualify for the Champions League and then in season two win the domestic cup, win the league cup and of course win the Champions League without losing a game and ideally without dropping a point. So let's have a look at some more players on the shortlist guys. Really really excited for this series. So... Who else have we got? We've got Eden Hazard, so real good top-notch players, you know, look at that. Plays in left mid, plays in right mid, versatile. Royce especially plays at striker, cam, right mid, left mid. So players of versatility, got to say I would love to get. The growth on this guy can go from 85 to 92, yet he is already an amazing player. So a real good player in got to say. James Rodriguez has massive growth potential and is decent on that right wing. So you get the idea, we got to go through two seasons, unbeaten, ideally without dropping a point, making the best team money can buy we start off guys with a uh, email that we will get quite often during this campaign this player is not for sale at any price well we will test these statements by um, the other clubs we will really put them to the test so De Gea they're looking at 21 million for Lam he's not for sale at any price PK He's not for sale at any price. He doesn't want to join another club. Iniesta isn't willing to join. Yaya Torre isn't available. You know, Marco Royce, 42.5 million. You know, so there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of, you're not having my player. There's no way you will get him. But we start off going for David De Gea. I want to replace Cassias. De Gea has massive potential when it comes to uh, career mode. So I wouldn't mind getting David De Gea as my second and Manuel Neuer as my first keepers. As you can see, the financial takeover has kicked in and we have 177 million transfer budget. And we're starting off with a speculative 6 million and uh, more. Atus, I think his name is, putting him in there. We're going to go in for Marco Royce, going in deep for Marco Royce. So thereafter, guys, 42 and a half million. We're not going to be paying 42 and a half million. We put that player up as collateral, that um, Di Maria. So he's up at 27 and a half million. He's going to go for 27 and a half million. Um, and we're going to drop this down to 5 million um, eventually when I decide to pull my finger out. So 5 million and Di Maria for Marco Royce. Marco Royce gives us options because he's very versatile in his playing positions. He can play a striker, etc. Our offer for Wilshire yields a request of 35 0.5 million now Wilshire has massive growth potential so I stick a Marcelo up there and we're going to add a bit of cash guys to sweeten this deal obviously so Marcelo isn't worth an absolute fortune but the one in 35.5 so I think if we go in around about 8.5 we are not going to be a million miles off so we're going in for Jack Wilshire at 8.5 and Marcelo so as you can see here, Benzema, we're getting offers for Karim Benzema. They want 18 and a half to pay for him. There's no way we're going to let him go for 18 and a half million, guys. That is what we have in analysis value, but we know he is worth more than that. So we go in a 24.5 million and say, how do you like them apples? So as you can see, 
we get our offer for Marco Royce accepted. Really pleased with that. And Maria Di Maria and 5.5 million accepted. And I tell him he'll be a crucial first team player and pay him what he is after 120,000 pounds a week. Really good deal. That can't wait to get Marco Royce. A lot of versatility in this player, and you all know how good Royce is. Will be a great addition to the team. We are back with De Gea, guys. They reject our initial offer, so. We're going to remove that player, guys, and we're going to throw a cheeky £8 million offer in, see if that yields us any results for David De Gea. Um, moving on, moving on. The Wilshire offer is unacceptable, so we up it to £16 million, which is what they're asking for. They want uh, Marcelo, but they want £16 million for Wilshire. I really want Wilshire, so we're going deep for him there. We've got 23 million offer for Benzema. I think that is a fair offer, so we're going to accept the 23 million for Kareem Benzema. We go in deep for Yaya Torre. We really want him. I know they said that he is not for sale. I don't fucking listen to that. I believe he is for sale. Everyone is for sale for the right price. They're after between 22 and 26, so we go in at 24 million for Yaya Torre. And Robin, he isn't for sale. But according to the top, 26 to 29.9. So we go in at 24 million to see if we can get ourselves Iron Robin. We may as well stick our neck out and go for it. Philip Lahm, weak for Real Madrid on that right back position. So we're going in at 20 million for Philip Lahm. See if we can secure Lahm. And finally, Manuel Neuer. Now, he's a big club. The offer should be high if we wish to stand a chance. So we go straight in at £20 million for Manuel Neuer, going in hard and seeing what we get. So as you can see here, Benzema is sold. They've added £19.5 million to our transfer budget. And as you can see down there, if you look a bit lower, Arsenal have accepted our offer for Jack Wilshire. Really, really pleased with that. So we offer Jack what he is after. An important first team player, three years on the deal, 100,000. In fact, I make it five years because I really want Jack and I want him secured and happy. Um, as you can see, Neuer's offer is accepted at 20 million. So much for him being unavailable and a crucial team player for them we get our offer accepted for Neuer he wants 150 a week we will oblige him make him a crucial first team player and put an offer in there for Manuel Neuer so that is really really good guys finally to finish off this episode Marco Royce signs we have our first big name signing in Marco Royce please join me guys for the next episode where we will be trying to get those big names preparing the team playing some friendlies and generally preparing ourselves for money no object career challenge we're going to win these two seasons we're going to go unbeaten and hopefully not drop a point take care of yourselves like sub comment peace love and catch you later